This uh, video is the uh, last video in doubt uh, applications. The applications uh, covered here are clippers, clampers, peak detectors, and voltage multipliers. Uh, this video will be uploaded into two parts. Part A will uh, give the diode equivalence and uh, Shockley's equation as well as uh, uh, it will uh, cover clippers and diode clamps. The part B of the video will consist of diode clampers, peak detectors and multipliers. So we start uh, with the part A. The uh, low power diode applications are uh, dry, are diverse and uh, they appear in many circuits uh, of analog and digital circuits. Next few videos uh, will cover solution to the gate problems related to above applications. Uh, very few problems have appeared in gate uh, from this area but uh, the understanding of the doubt uh, circuits is very important since they may appear as part of uh, some circuits in further topics. So we'll start with the uh, uh, first part of the video, that's a part A of the video. Uh, so uh, this uh, complete topic is on clippers, clampers and pillars and uh, uh, we use uh, low power diodes or small signal diodes and these small signal diodes are uh, work for high frequencies as well as at, uh, they are at low powers. Now we will see the equivalent circuit of a diode. Uh, the kind of equivalent circuit which uh, we expect from the diode is like uh, if it is an ideal diode it should have uh, uh, work like it should work like an ideal switch. Ideal switch works that when uh, maybe the diode and the switch is closed uh, it should uh, should have a zero resistance and the switch is open. It should have infinite uh, uh, resistance. So I expect that uh, diode to, uh, to be like an ideal switch. So if it is like an ideal switch, it should have a characteristic like it, like this. And for the negative biases, when it's a reverse bias, uh, uh, should uh, uh, from zero on to left hand side, it's a reverse part, so it should have infinite resistance. And when it is uh, uh, on the forward bus, uh, that means from zero volts to positive voltages, uh, then the uh, the diode resistance should be very low, like a zero value. Okay, this is what uh, we expect, but uh, such a diode cannot be built. If such a diode cannot be built, we'll try to build some other diode which is similar to that diode. Uh, so the diode which could be built is the diode having the characteristics of this kind that means in the reverse bias uh, it could appear as if the switch is open but in the forward bias it will not uh, start conducting at zero volts but start conducting at some voltages in the positive direction that that we call as a cut in voltage. So uh, if the diode has to behave like that the equivalent circuit for forward bias would be like an ideal diode in series with the battery of voltage V gamma. And in the reverse bias uh, it will be like an uh, like an ideal switch since we presume that uh, it is having a infinite resistance in the reverse bias. But the real diodes are uh, entirely different than uh, what uh, we expect these diodes to be. Uh, this is uh, characteristics of an uh, real diode. What we observe in the forward bias, the characteristic is not steep uh, at a cut-in voltage point, but it is as a slope similarly in the reverse bias. So the equivalent circuit uh, for such diodes uh, could be placed uh, like uh, in the forward bias, uh, it is an ideal diode with the cut-in voltage V gamma and uh, there is an AC resistance RAC in series with the diode in the forward bias condition and uh, this uh, 
AC resistance could be determined by determining the slope of this characteristic. So 1 over the slope will give me the resistance, 1 over the steepness, steepest is the slope, uh, lower will be the value for RAC. Uh, so uh, you can determine it, reverse bias uh, is equal to an ideal doubt and with the reverse resistance. Reverse resistance uh, uh, which is very high resistance of the doubt. Now uh, diode resistance uh, in forward bias. How we can find the diode resistance in the forward bias? That means the resistance is forward bias. Uh, that is forward bias. Uh, uh, how we can find the value for REC? Uh, that there is a very important relation which is said to be a Shockley's uh, equation, uh, which gives me uh, the value of the dynamic REC resistance of that when it is forward bias. So this is uh, the diode equation. It's a well-known equation. This could be approximately written as in forward bias as this, the first part. You can take derivative of this, uh, uh, what we find uh, here, and uh, delta IF over with delta VD, and if I write delta VD over delta IF, this comes simplified to eta VT over IF. Now eta is 1 for germanium and 2 for silicon, and VT is the thermal voltage of the diode. So uh, if we know the thermal voltage of the diode, and uh, the diode for which it is made and uh, uh, we can always uh, determine by knowing the forward uh, current in the diode, we can always determine the uh, EC resistance of the diode using the Shockley's equation. This equation has been you know, very much used in the analog circuit uh, applications, especially in uh, bipolar junction transistors, RFETs. It has appeared at many occasions and that you would, you would notice and we'll try to see that. The other circuit here is uh, the clippers and the limiter circuits. Uh, if we notice a clipper circuit, uh, clipper has the property to remove the positive or negative uh, part of the waveform. That means if there is a waveform here, it can remove the positive part or the negative peak of the waveform. Such uh, circuits are said to be the clipper circuits. And the limiter circuit uh, has the advantage. It's also really similar to the clipper circuit, but uh, it removes only the sensitive uh, sensitive uh, uh, part of the waveform uh, from the large input. If there is a large input and there's a lot of noise overriding the input, uh, you can uh, clip the waveform or limit the waveform to a certain level where the noise is uh, reduced. Okay, now uh, we can see the circuit for a positive clipper. It's a series uh, diode, RS. Uh, it's a, and, uh, limiting resistance for the diode, this is a diode and the, this is a load resistance. If we apply an input uh, which is sinusoidal nature for the house positive half cycle, the diode would be conducting. If it is conducting, the output would be zero. So this will be zero and if the negative uh, cycle comes, the diode uh, would be off and if it is off, the output would appear. That negative peak here would appear at the output. So this is said to be a positive uh, clipper since the positive side of the waveform has been clipped off. This is a negative clipper. Similar only the polarity of the diode has been reversed here and we notice uh, here uh, it acts as a negative clipper. That negative part of the waveform has been clipped off. Okay, so very simple. Now if we clipping is to be done at a certain level, uh, then uh, what we can do is we can use a battery in series with the diode so that it could uh, uh, clip uh, at a desired level. So this is the input here and uh, you know it has uh, clipped at the uh, battery V plus 0 0.7, 0 0.7 is cut in voltage of the diode. So this has also been like a positive clipper and which has clipped the waveforms uh, from voltage V plus 0 0.7. And uh, similarly there is circuit for the negative clipper. Uh, uh, so same way it is clipping the negative side. Uh, another uh, one of the very important circuit uh, which appears very frequently is said to be a bias positive negative clipper circuit. Uh, this circuit uh, what it does is uh, it's using two diodes D1 and D2. They are having opposite polarity here with the batteries uh, in series with them. So s these uh, uh, diodes are really uh, uh, they are a positive and the negative clipper. Uh, sometimes we call them dual diode uh, clippers. Here it clips uh, both peaks uh, on either side. So the clipping is done here is at uh, V1 plus 0.7 and here the clipping is at minus V2 minus 0.7. So 
uh, we we could get uh, from the sine wave a uh, square wave so uh, very good uh, wave shaping circuit are uh, being used uh, in many applications now uh, well, we start uh, with the topic of dark clamps dark clamps are not uh, the clamper circuits they are different than the clamper circuits they are part of the i would say the clipper circuits and uh, more like uh, they are like a limiter circuits and uh, you would come across these uh, dark clamps at many occasions and uh, one to mention here uh, is a negative uh, clamp being used in ttl circuits uh, so that the uh, excessive voltage is not being applied to ttl input similarly you can use the clamps uh, uh, the operation amplifiers and the differential input uh, is to be applied in the operation amplifier is very small so um, to avoid uh, avoid that uh, over uh, voltage to appear you can use uh, and dark clamps these have been some of the applications here so uh, this is about the first part and the second part of video will be separate that will follow thank you